Hi everyone and uh, welcome to Tarot for You 444. Um, today I'm kind of a little bit excited um, because we seem to be getting some really great messages coming through um, from Divine Masculine and um, I've got to tell you um, if you've been listening to me for a little while or you know if you've just joined me um, I channel primarily the Divine Masculine Collective um, however I have noticed that there are three particular groups that come come in regularly so um, you know if you're guided to click onto the video at a certain time then you know these messages can be for you and sometimes the collectives can kind of intermingle as well it just depends really what stage of the journey you're on um, but today um, you know just now as I was preparing to do this channeling reading um, I've seen a ladybug um, it actually landed in my glass of water and so that's a really beautiful synchronicity um, you know that's a lucky sign I see ladybugs as really lucky and um, you know also freedom so um, you know use use that as it pertains to you and your situation um, the other thing I'm really noticing too is flowers so you know a lot of roses a lot of white flowers um, you know just that really spring kind of feeling even if it's not spring where you are um, you know we're getting that you know the time for unions is really coming especially with the 11 11 portal coming up in November um, it's kind of you know as if the the bow has been pulled back and you know it's getting and being ready and aimed you know um, at union for many for many twin flames so uh, what I'm finding interesting is this really calm feeling today you know yesterday I was talking about intimacy and how the divine masculine and feminine can um, you know lack that feeling of intimacy um, you know and long for it and you know some of the childhood wounds they perhaps experienced um, made them feel you know not whole and so they um, you know, especially long for sexual intimacy, um, are kind of afraid of emotional intimacy can be, and um, <laughs> someone's, I'm just outside and someone was just like yelling in the distance, so that's a synchronicity for you there, um, usually that happens, you know, when you say a truth, um, you know, should a loud bang happen or a dog bark or, you know kind of thing <laughs> so usually a synchronicity from spirit so what we're going to do today is just see where we are with the masculine in the 3d space and then in the spiritual space because we need to remember that you know 3d physical masculine is often in a different space to to his 5d higher self space um, and you know as he grows and ascends more um, then he, he starts behaving in his 5D sense. Okay. So, uh, so two love messages have just come out um, now. So I'll tell you those before we get into the 3D and the 5D spaces for Divine Masculine today. I'm truly sorry for my words and actions. I smile whenever I get a message from you okay so that's a good way to start off the reading so now let's take a look at divine masculine 3d um, the 3d story that's that's coming and then uh, we'll do the 5d straight away after that I think too, um, what I've noticed is, you know, a daily spiritual practice um, for divine feminine and masculine can be really helpful 
so um, you know that mean, that means different things to different people and um, you know what works for one person may not work for another and also you know people's beliefs change you know whether they're religious or not um, you know it's um, I'm not here to judge or you know push any any religion or agenda upon anyone so I really want you to know that you know as I do um, these divine masculine and feminine and you know twin flame readings or other readings that I may also do in the future um, you know whatever you feel resonates with you that's really important for you if it makes you feel good if it makes you feel you know mentally emotionally or spiritually sound um, then I invite you to continue with that practice um, and I also invite you to, you know, look at the duality of that too. And anything that doesn't serve you, you may let go of. So that's just a little aside um, from what I'm saying today. So the overall energy for the 3D space is, you know, the want to celebrate the love. But really feeling the the distance and the blocks um, that are, you know that are in the way. Um, it, I do apologise if you can hear <laughs> if you can hear noise. I am outside and I've got um, I've got dogs, so they you know are sort of with me, but they're you know walking around, moving around, listening to sounds. Um, okay, so so there are some blocks in the. Um, 3D and you know physically the divine masculine is feeling like he's um, you know not losing love but he's not feeling like he can move and push through even though he's had that call he's you know had the spiritual call that this is the thing to do um, there is a third party situation in the way this could be a marriage, this could be children, uh, this could also be um, work or other family issues, including other karmics, whether good or bad, that are in the way. And so, and so this toxic behaviour that he may have shown in the past, although it's gone, and he wants to come forward, you know, like, you know, a fool for love. He wants to be a fool for love. Um, that's actually a song uh, by Jacoy, Fool for Love. So you look that up in your own time. It's a really good song. Uh, that's the message coming through in the 3D. J Jacoy, J-A-H-K-O-Y, Fool for Love. Um, I think it's called Fool for Love. Oh, anyway. Um... Yeah, I wouldn't mind playing the full for love as some of the words. You know, you can look those lyrics up and, and just uh, check that out. So, yeah, so this toxic behaviour in the past, although he's stopped most of this, he he's still not feeling like the universe is giving him the proper big push to come through. He's still feeling slightly wounded. And for some divine masculines, this is a legal situation, um, you know, or in, you know, up and including marriage that could be in the way. So now we we go into that he wants to finish fighting, finish doing this fight first. Um, you know, he doesn't necessarily need to do much on a spiritual level for right now he wants to be action based that's how he's feeling he doesn't feel like being spiritual he wants to take action to make this happen so let's move now into the spiritual space the higher self wants to move forward the higher self wants to be truthful in every way and let go of mind and ego the the enlightenment that the, the higher self has knows that that this journey is always going to have work to it it understands you know from a soul level that you know being with divine feminine is the ultimate goal being um you know the call is here 
um, and now. And, you know, that's the truth. That's always been the truth. The truth of this forever love, this enlightening love, where, you know, each of, each of the people together, when they come together, you know, are honest and kind and loving and are truthful about how they're feeling. That's what the higher self oversoul wants to do. It wants divine masculine to let go of ego and is congratulating him also for letting go of some of these toxic behaviours that he's had in the past. Okay, so now let's go into the love messages. Um, so we'll go into the 3D love messages first. Do you even realise how amazing you are to me? I made a mistake and now I'm living with the consequences. I regret it, I really do. I'm a big mess and that's the last thing you need right now. I'm afraid of rejection. It's so hard when I can't talk to you. Uh, then, you know, his higher self over soul is coming in and saying, your beautiful face is always on my mind and you are the reason why I'm smiling again. So they're really beautiful messages and, um, you know, Divine Masculine has done a lot of work to get rid of toxic behaviour and he's starting to work out that... Um, you know, he can feel that soul push. He can feel that higher self coming in and down and through, you know, the higher chakras and into him. And he, you know, he sometimes gets that glimpse of, especially when he speaks with Divine Feminine, you know, of that 5D love and of the possibility that this, you know, 5D love can be brought about in the physical reality into 3D and so, you know, that is what is, is happening at the moment. But he's, he's actioning things in the physical right now. He's not in his head, which is great. He's in his action space where he wants to get things done. Um, you know, he still feels that he has blocks to move through. Um, and let's just take a quick look at the biggest block that he feels... These cards really want to speak to me. Okay, so the big the big block is the biggest block is making a decision for love and being and also having the resources to be able to fulfill that. That's the biggest block for him at, at this present time. So, you know, wanting this love, wanting it to be equal, knowing it's it's ordained by God or it's a spiritual love wanting to come through move the cycle forward um, but knowing there are still things to do there is still money to be made there are still resources that need to be found um, and that's a very interesting um, discussion um, because uh, it's not only those blocks that are in the way with regard to resources um, you know, because yesterday we were talking about intimacy and the need to heal things. And it looks like that because he's not in his head, he's actually thinking, you know, it's all about the pentacles and all about the wands if you're into tarot. So, you know, it's all about the action, all about the money, resources. That's what he's thinking of. Um, he already knows where his heart lies, whether he's saying that or not to you. He already knows. Um that no one else is going to match up to Divine Feminine. So that's really beautiful. And in fact, you know, this realisation that's coming through and, you know, this, this knowing by Divine Masculine is so beautiful because it means that the Divine Feminine has been doing the inner work. You know, she's been clearing the karma. She's been doing the spiritual practice. You know, she's been meditating. She's been you know, loving herself. And when she loves herself, remember that because, you know, divine masculine is also her, then she's also loving divine masculine. And so when he comes into that space and begins to love himself as well, and, you know, has the resources to 
move forward in his life to feel better um, it heals the divine feminine too so it's a really beautiful um, you know balanced um, I, you know I can see the infinity symbol there it's you know that coming and going that you know it's like the ocean tide coming in and out and in and out and um, you know what you do for yourself you do also for your divine masculine and what he does he also does for divine feminine so that's a really beautiful point I want to make today okay so we'll get one last message When I first met you, I honestly didn't know you were going to be this important to me. That's what Divine Masculine says. And Spirit is saying, be grateful for all things. And Archangel Michael is helping your Twin Flame Union. So, you know, if you feel the need and are guided to pray to Archangel Michael, he is there protecting your relationship and this you know blessed union all right guys so that's a quick one for today and um i don't really have much else to say other than um you know a few other little signs that came through um other sun um the color yellow um lemons for some reason <laughs> um baking and uh, the numbers 444, 111, 222, and 1010 are coming through strongly. Um, and then, of course, we had the ladybug earlier and the um, roses. So that might be, you know, different colored roses or flowers. Um, and also the ocean and, you know, the salt of the ocean, the, that healing power of the ocean. So, you know, perhaps divine feminine or masculine, if you get a chance, you know, to go for a swim in the ocean or to bathe um, somewhere, you know, that can be a really freeing experience, um, you know, even if it's in a river or a pool or, um, you know, a natural body of water is, is preferable. But if you can't, um, you know, just bathing is, um, you know, a very relaxing, beautiful thing to do um, for the body, mind and the soul. All right, guys, if you need my help um, or, you know, any advice or readings, um, please contact me. My um, details are in the description box below. And um, if you want to like, subscribe or share, I would love you to do so. And I'm so glad that you can join me here today and, you know, keep going Divine Feminine. You're doing a fantastic job. I'm here to congratulate you on how well you're doing. Um, and, you know, the more we support Divine Masculine, um, you know, and also heal ourselves, the sooner the union could come about um, if it's meant to be in this lifetime. And then you can start your mission together. Um, and so that's really exciting. Okay, I'm sending you so much peace and love and light this day and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.